absolutely gorgeous day here at the cemetery once again. Just, just beautiful. Perfect day for some evil. When asked what I'm gonna do over the weekend, I mean, just the usual, really. I'll walk the dogs, uh, read a book, summon a demon to slay my enemies, um, go to the go to the park. Just, just really cash, cash stuff. What are everybody's plans for Halloween? It is almost upon us. My favorite holiday. But funny though, considering it's my favorite holiday and I am all about evil, I don't really celebrate. I never really do anything because one, it's on a weekday and I have to work. I, I do take off Halloween, but I didn't take off the next day. I never really do anything. I used to, but uh, my acquaintances are few and far in between, so I'll probably just end up here. But I, I don't really celebrate often, and I kind of think it's because, honestly, every day to me is, is Halloween. Every day is dark and macabre, and, and my home is filled with spooky knickknacks, so it's really just another day so I think that is why so I don't think it's a bad thing it's truly just Halloween every day for me you know what I am gonna do though for Halloween I'm gonna take my niece's candy you better believe it <laughs> evil just the stuff they don't want Taking candy from kids. Just another day in the life of Deadly DeVille. On the subject of Halloween, um, I posted a picture on Instagram from when I was a Halloween bride. Gorgeous dress, custom made, beautiful. Um, I've come a long way since then, I really have. and um, I'm very proud of that fact because I sort of thought, given the Halloween right after everything happened, that my favorite holiday be ruined for me and I'd never want to celebrate it but it's not the case I still love Halloween and I don't think about those bad things the negative things you can't let you can't let something like that spoil something you love don't let a negative event or a negative person ruin something for you find enjoyment out of it um, move on past past the trouble and um, enjoy enjoy the things you you always have, because I, I still love Halloween, and I will still celebrate, as I do every day for Halloween. So don't let don't anybody ruin anything for you, is what I'm trying to say. Just very complicated, like. Such a beautiful place, and a special place, too. Very... Very special to me. Uh, see, I was buried here. First time I was buried here was uh, in the 1800s, 1864, I believe. Uh, the second time was 1892. And uh, then, believe it or not, a third time, 1918. Yep, very special to me. I really like... Um, this in particular and there's something up here too if I can climb these steps without killing myself they're not steps they're slick but oh get out of here B oh no somebody's robbed it there's usually a bunch of change up here I mean all sorts of coins not just US currency but it would appear somebody has grave robbed 
I would be too afraid to do that because you're just gonna anger the spirits and I've got enough of those angry with me so I'm not about that life Right, so what I mean about angering the spirits, not, not so much spirits as uh, dem demonic entities. I told you, don't read the Gosha. Don't make my mistake. Cursed book. It really is. I get uncomfortable opening it still. And um, I mentioned that to my dad, the wizard, grand wizard. And he said that everyone he's ever talked to who has had in possession that book has felt the same so it's not just me but I I used it and well it's sort of like being branded if you will you've been marked that these other things now see that they pick up on that sort of a kick me sign for the underworld or so I feel, and I've discussed this with um, the other party who was there with me, and they have felt the same. Now, again, I'm I'm not some crazy, very crazy, very logical, very rational person, but what happened happened, and since that time, strange things have have occurred, and. Again, it's as though being followed, these things recognize that, oh hey, she's uh, she's on board with us. She's up for shenanigans. Let's let's follow her. She has felt the same and I still feel that way. And I mean you can think I'm crazy or something, but I'm just telling you the facts of that situation. So don't read the Gosha, whatever you do. I was just at my dad's and I was asking him about skinwalkers, what his thoughts on it were. Uh, remember last time, one of the last times I was here, I mentioned something about a skinwalker and I, I was getting his opinion on it and he, he didn't think there was much validity to it. Um, I didn't, you know, rational terms of matter changing to such a degree and into such an extreme. And I said, so you don't think matter can just, you can't, I guess basically shapeshift. And I said, but you can teleport? And he said, well, I didn't come back as another creature. So I said, it'd be a lot cooler if you did. All right, cool cats, I'm headed to mine auto. Thank you for joining me on another beautiful cemetery stroll. Tune in next week and I'll tell you about the time I summoned Benito Mussolini with the Ouija board. Stay cool.